Okay, John Hudson. You really piqued my curiosity. I wake up this morning, I turn my head, I expect to see you lying there, and instead I get a little note that says, meet me at the hospital, dress casual. Well, you got the meet me at the hospital part right, but you call that casual? Yeah, well, as casual as I get. Anyway, come on, don't keep me in suspense. What's going on? Well, I came in early to finish up this paperwork so that I could take the rest of the day off and do something fun and unexpected with the woman I love. Well, I think that's wonderful, but... My darling, mm -hmm. I have to open up Wallingford this morning. My darling, you don't. I don't? No. I talked to Cass. Cecile is going to open for you. With Cass? Mm-hmm. Perfect, right? <laughs> you really thought of everything, haven't you? Yes. Are you ready? Well, I don't know. Where are you taking me? You'll see. No, 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 no. That's not fair. No, you have to give me just a little bit of a hint. A little bit of a hint, okay. Uh, this place is the most favorite place of mine on the face of this earth. Okay. Lead the way. So what do you think? Why are we whispering? Relaxing though, isn't it? Yeah. As long as you handle the worms. Oh, come on. That's the that's the most fun part when they get all squishy. Oh, oh please spare me. You know, this could be some kind of a record. What? Huh. I think this is the longest I've ever gone without talking. Well, there's a lot that can be said in silence. You know something? If someone had told me a year ago that I would be sitting here fishing with John Hudson. I would think that they were crazy. And now? Now? Everybody knows I'm crazy. I'm crazy in love. Oh, wow. I got some. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. I'll give you a hand. No, no, here. I've got it. I've got it. What do you mean? I've got, got it. it. I've got it. Here it is. Just bring it over here. Bring it. Just bring it over here. There you go. You're conning me. What? This whole time. You've been hustling me. Here I am playing the macho fisherman, trying to teach the sweet damsel the fine art of fishing. And you know how to do this better than I do. I guess I forgot to tell you that I was married to Zane, who was a professional fisherman. Next time. Next time you hook your own worms. Oh, come on. You're not angry with me, are you? Why would I be angry? You just caught dinner. <laughs> I hope you don't expect me to clean him. You don't think I just brought you along for the ride, do you? Oh, I, I think you should clean him. I mean, I don't want to deprive you of this kind of fun. <sighs> Well, it looks like our fish had expensive taste. It looks like gold. Well, you really are lucky, aren't you? Well, I think you ought to bring me back here. Maybe we could find a sunken treasure next time. You know time. what I'm going to do with this? What? I'm going to clean it up and give it to you as a present. What, are we starting a new trend? Jewelry from the deep? Well, maybe it's an omen. Don't you see what Maggie's doing? She said she needed some money for a textbook. Yeah, and you fell for it. You're always so quick to think the worst of her. Why don't you give the kid a chance? Maggie loves to manipulate you. You have got to stop feeling guilty for not being there when she was growing up. It's not your fault. So what if I'm trying to make up for lost time? Be careful of overcompensating. That's all I'm saying. And you could lay off her once in a while, too. Okay, all right. Let, let's not do this, okay? Do you see what's happening here? Because of Maggie, we are fighting all the time. Hello? Mary Frances. Hi, can you tell me, has Cass left yet? Cecile, leave us alone. I don't want to upset you anymore. Can we please discuss this later? I've got to get over to the bookstore. Madame Rinaldi, it's Cecile. Oh, thank you so much for that marvelous potion of yours. Now, listen, I, I wanted to ask, how many drops? Uh-huh. Now, is it tasteless? Well, I suppose it 
could be seen as tacky, but I, I, I think we have to do what we have to do in the... Oh, no, I meant, can one taste it in a cup of cappuccino? Good. Thank you very much. Mm hmm soon. It's time to crank up the espresso machine, I guess. Oh, it's already cranked. As a matter of fact, I've made you a cup. Voila. Why don't you come and sit with me, oh, dear? I really don't have time to sit. Oh, 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 sure you do, Cass. Start the morning slowly. This will make you feel better. Hmm? You're actually getting very good at making this stuff. This is the best cappuccino I've ever tasted. Oh, good, good. I'm so glad. You know, I, I do so much to, uh, to please you. Be a good girl. I'm trying. Cass, do you remember when we met? Do you remember how free and reckless and passionate you were? What are you up to? Nothing. Just an observation. Well, keep it to yourself. You know what? I don't think marriage agrees with you. Marrying Frankie is the best thing I've ever done. No. You've become so predictable. I mean, it's true. I see you walk out of here every night at the same time. You've got to get home in time for dinner. Family meals are very important to me. Oh, please. I mean, what do you do? You have the same meal every night, right? Every Tuesday you have tofu burgers? <laughs> you do? Oh, Cass. I mean, you... You've become so, I mean, such a creature of habit. There's no variety anymore. There's no fun. Now, Monaco, that was fun. Hmm? Is it, is it hot in here? I feel kind of funny. Oh, uh, no, no, no. It's not hot. Let me refresh your memory. Mm. The Hotel de Paris. Mm. That incredible suite overlooking the Mediterranean. Mm. Champagne, caviar, late mm. nights at uh, the casino. Now that was living. Don't you think that, that, that you could have that life again? You and I, you and I could go back there and, and, and do that again, I Cass. I think I'm going to need the AC today. Huh? Oh. What are you doing? Nothing. I was just... <sighs> Don't. Just stop. i got to get some water. I'm burning up. <sighs> Francis, it's me. Now, don't hang up. What is it now, Cecile? I, I hate to bother you. You, you, know, you know that. But, uh, and I wouldn't call if, uh, if it weren't important. See, it's Cass. I, I think you should get down here to Wallingford's right away. Why? Well, because I, I just don't know what's gotten into him. I just don't know what to do with him. <laughs> 